This is All India Radio. India's space programs have grown and evolved significantly in the last decades. Some of the key turning points in the country's space journey include the launch of Aryabhat satellite, PSLV, GSLV, Mission Shakti and Mars Orbiter mission. Overall, India has been fairly successful in these efforts. The space research activities were initiated in India during the early 1960s when applications using satellites were in experimental stages even in the United States. Dr Vikram Sarabhai the founding father of Indian Space Program formed the Indian National Committee for Space Research in Kospar in 1962 with Dr Sarabhai leading the charge in Kospar set up the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station in Tiruvananthapuram for upper atmospheric research it is not accidental that on the soil of India the great space powers the United States the USSR and France are collaborating with us at the equatorial range near Tumba and even the United Nations sponsorship of this range is not merely a matter of form but constitutes an umbrella under which regardless of political differences nations can collaborate in the peaceful uses of outer space in kospar then grew and became the indian space research organization isro on august the 15th 1969 The prime objective of ISRO is to develop space technology and its application to various national needs. ISRO is one of the six largest space agencies in the world. Named after the noted Indian astronomer Aryabhat was India's first satellite which was launched on April the 19th, 1975 from Kapustingar, a Soviet rocket launch and development site in Astrakhan Oblast using a Cosmos 3M launch vehicle. Aryabhat was built by ISRO. Bhaskar Siga 1, India's second satellite, was also launched with Soviet assistance. Rohini was launched in 1980, becoming the first Indian satellite to be successfully placed in orbit by satellite launch vehicle SLV-3, a country-made launch vehicle. In 1984, Air Force pilot Rakesh Sharma was the first Indian to go into space, riding in a Soviet spacecraft. He spoke to then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi from space during a joint television news conference. ऊपर से भारत कैसा दिखता है आपको? जी मैं बगैर किसी झिझक के कह सकता हूँ कि Polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV has successfully launched two spacecraft Chandrayaan-1 in 2008 and Mars Orbiter spacecraft in 2013. Chandrayaan-1 was India's first moon mission. It was the first unmanned lunar probe under the Chandrayaan program and was launched in October 2008 by ISRO. Mars Orbiter mission was the country's first interplanetary mission. India became the fourth space agency in the world to reach reached Mars orbit after Roscosmos, NASA and the European Space Agency. It also made India the first nation in the world to reach the Martian orbit in its maiden attempt. The spacecraft Mangalyaan was launched on November the 5th, 2013 and reached Mars orbit on the 24th of September 2014. At just 74 million dollars the mission cost less than the estimated 100 million dollar budget of the science fiction blockbuster Hollywood movie Gravity Prime Minister Narendra Modi said everything about Mangalyaan is indigenous and we reached Mars at a smaller budget than a Hollywood movie ki America ki Hollywood jo film banti hai movie usse bhi kam kharche mein hamare vaigyaniko ne kaam kiya hai yani isse zyada kharcha to Hollywood ki movie banane mein hota hai India is striving towards self-reliant space applications and ISRO has developed a cost-effective and reliable satellite launch system. Another brilliant innovation by ISRO is the GSLV which has the capability to put a heavier payload in orbit than the PSLV. In a first of its kind attempt the Defence Research and Development Organisation managed to successfully neutralize a satellite in space with its anti-satellite ASAT missile on March the 27th 2019. This was one of the most important and complex missions that was undertaken by the DRDO and it was named Mission Shakti. It demonstrated the organization's ability to defend India's assets even in space. Oh